The trial continues tonight for an Albany couple accused of manslaughter in the death of their 12-year-old daughter. Investigators say they chose prayer over medicine to treat her diabetes. KEZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause is live tonight outside the Lynn County Courthouse with the very latest. Rhoda? Renee, it was an emotional day in the courtroom today. Dozens of supporters came out for Winona and Travis Rossiter tearing up when the prosecutor showed images of 12 year old Sybil. Now the state says that she died last February um, when she developed diabetic ketoacidosis from untreated diabetes and she died. Instead of bringing the girl to a doctor, the state argues the family instead turned to prayer. Today, the state continued to bring in witnesses, including the state medical examiner. He said Sybil would have had obvious symptoms for months before her death and that she would have survived if she would have seen a doctor even hours before her death. The Albany police detective who interviewed the father took the stand today and read from the transcript what Travis said. God put doctors on this earth for people who don't believe strongly enough in God that he can heal them. That's why doctors are here. It's for the unbelieving, somebody who just don't believe that God can heal them. The Rossiters told police that they were members of Church of the Firstborn in Albany, and they believe in healing through prayer. One of the church members also took the stand today and said the morning Sybil died, the family called him to help pray at the house for the girl. Did you pray over her? Yes. How? Uh, her hands are and prayed over her. And I'm sorry, that church is in Brownsville. Travis Rosser also told investigators he thought Sybil had the flu, but this was the first time the family had anyone come over to pray for their daughter. Now, the trial does continue tomorrow, and it's set to run through next week, so you want to make sure to stay tuned with KEZI 9 News for the latest developments. Live in Albany, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.